is Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another weekly reading vlog. So it is the beginning of the final week of March and there is a specific book on my March TBR that I really, really want to get to. I'm not anywhere near completing my March TBR, but I have read a couple of books off of it. In this one in particular, I really, really, really want to get to because I've been putting off reading this for far too long. It has to happen. I know I'm going to love it. So we just got to bite the bullet and get started. So the book in question is A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. Um, I got this beautiful edition from a lovely subscriber who sent me her copy of A Dowry of Blood and these are her tabs. I'm going to leave these in here and I'm just going to like annotate alongside her and I think it'll be really fun to see if like our tabs match up. My tabs are really different from hers like mine are like skinnier tabs so i feel like it'll be really obvious which are hers and which are mine which i think will be really fun to like see at the end but um i will be reading this and i'm so freaking excited for this i have been putting off reading this for so long even though i know i'm gonna love it because it's like very on brand for me i love vampires um polyamorous vampires sounds like a fun ass time so i'm just excited i know this is going to be very heartbreaking because it is a sad story aside from like the whole polyamory thing <laughs> i think overall it's a very sad book so i know it's gonna hurt me but i'm like so ready for that um i don't know i just I, I feel like i'm gonna love it so i do plan to read this this week and then i do have two mangas which i do actually really want to get to the first one is spy family volume one i borrowed this from my library so i do really want to get to it so that i can return it and you know have other people read it um but i'm super excited about this everyone loves this freaking manga like I have never heard anyone say they didn't like this, so I am really excited to read this. I have put a hold for the next two volumes at my library. I'm just waiting for those to come in, but I'm really excited to read this. Um, all I know, it's like a family. One is a spy, one is an assassin, and one is like a telepath or telekinesis? Telepath. She's telepathic, um, and I'm excited. Who is he? I want to know who he is. Also, I want to know who she is. Um these two okay like wow so i do plan on reading this sorry this way this and then i got this at the used bookstore i went to um yesterday i love this anime so much and i've been wanting to read the manga because it's just uh, something about the aesthetic of this manga just calls to me and that's blue exorcist um so this is volume one i love this freaking anime so much and i really want to read the manga so i got this i got this for five bucks and i couldn't believe it when i saw the first volume because usually at used bookstores you only find like the randomest like volumes but they had the first one and i was like oh my god because i've been seeing this at barnes and nobles and i have been tempted every time to pick it up but i don't really like spending too much money on manga just in general because they're so expensive um but for five bucks i was like okay I'll do it. Um, I love him. He's so cute. Look at his outfit. Like, oh, it's just so, so me. Like, I just feel so, I don't know, aesthetically. Like, I just feel like I look at this and I'm like, yeah, I would wear this. I would definitely wear this. So, yeah, I'm going to be starting this as well. I don't have any of the other volumes, but depending on how I feel about this, we'll see if I, like, decide that I want to buy the entire set or something. So, those are the general reading plans uh, for this week. This is my priority. Um, I do have an audiobook checked out that I've heard is like really good. Um, so I am going to try and read that audiobook, but I'm going to get the physical book so I can read them together because I think for me that's what works best. Audiobooks by themselves, I just cannot focus and I get lost and I just don't like paying attention to them. So I, I need like the physical copy, but I heard that this audiobook specifically is really good. So I am going to co-read those together, but I will talk about that once I get the physical copy. Um, hopefully sometime this week because I have two weeks of my library hold for it. So those are the general reading plans um, for the last week of March. Let's see how many books we can read. I think I'm at like 14 books right now. Last month I read like 19 I don't think I'll get to 19, but I would like to get a couple more books read, specifically this one. Hey guys, so excuse if the angle shifted. My camera died like in the middle of my intro, so um, <laughs> I just filmed the intro before I left to work. So now I'm back, so if I look different, 
that's why. Um, but like, I don't re really recall what I was saying, but I think I was saying that I was going to read these three this week. Um, so yeah, I did end up finishing this up. Um, and I get the hype. I get the hype. I get the Spy X Family Girlies. This was so fucking cute. <laughs> I gave it five stars because like, let me tell you why did the headmaster have me dying of laughter literally could not stop laughing um but i really love just like the whole premise of this i'm not a huge fan of family dynamics like i don't really like seeing like family structures it's not it's something that i really gravitate towards so i was kind of nervous that i wouldn't like this because it is kind of based around like this spy building like a fake family type of thing um so i wasn't really sure if i was going to enjoy it because the concept doesn't sound like something I would like personally like, but surprising to everyone involved, I actually really liked this. I thought it was really good. Um, I think Lloyd or Twilight is super beautiful and I'm obsessed with him. Like this one specific panel, I was like, uh, <laughs> excuse me, who is this man? Because he is sexy. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> And then I'm like obsessed with just him being hilarious and like so clueless about how to deal with children. Because I was like, that's literally me. That's literally me. I want to show you guys this other panel where I was like, oh. <laughs> hello, good sir. <laughs> I was like, wait a second wait a second i loved this panel too this one i oh i love them i love them so much um is it too much to hope for a very happy ending um, so yeah i read uh volume one um i do have holds for the other volumes on my library but i have no idea when they will come in because there's like so many people um on the wait list for this at my library so not sure when I will continue. Maybe I will decide to buy the sets. I don't know. Um, but for right now, I'm okay waiting until like I get the other volumes um, like through my library. So I did read this. Gave it five stars. Thought it was cute. Um, I think I'm going to read this really quick too. Blue Exorcist because I'm in the mood to continue with like my manga moment. Um, I've been reading so much manga this month. So I think I might read this right now. And then I have to like do some housekeeping, house cleaning. I don't know. Um, I just have to clean some parts of my house. So I think I'll read Blue Exorcist, then I'll go clean. And then later tonight, I will start reading A Diary of Blood. Um, so that's the reading goals. I don't think this one is going to take me that long either. So I'll probably add another, another book to this vlog. I do have a pretty packed week, but tomorrow... I'm going to be doing reading sprints, so I know for sure if I don't finish this today, I would finish it tomorrow, and then I would have to add, like, another book to the TBR, but I'm not really sure, like, what I want to read. Like, should I read A Court of Frost and Starlight, or should I read something else? I do have that other book that I mentioned that I do have to get a physical copy for, so maybe I'll read that. I don't know. I don't want to say too much, because, like, what if it doesn't even happen, so... For now, I'm just going to start these two tonight, and I will update you guys once I get through with them. I'm really excited about this one. I should probably put holds on the, set, the next volumes of this too, because I know they're probably not going to be available, so I'll probably do that as well for my library. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm going to go return Spy Family during my lunch, because the library closes early, so I'm going to go return that tomorrow so someone else can read it because i know there's like a bunch of people waiting i think i checked and it was like 29 people and i was like holy shit so i'm gonna go return that um i do still have um the brandon sanderson book that i also brought that i also um borrowed from my library which is skyward or something which i could also read um i don't know why i'm even talking we'll just we'll wait and see um i, I don't know what i'm gonna read but <laughs> yeah um for sure i'm gonna start blue exercise right now quickly read that and then go clean my house so those are the plans for today um today's been a really weird day i don't feel quite real right now time doesn't feel quite real today which is really weird experience 
I'm not sure if it's still just an effect from Aquawar like destroying me. So I don't know. Feels kind of weird today. I feel kind of weird today. So yeah, I'm gonna read. <laughs> Hey guys, so today is Tuesday um, and I do have a couple of updates. So first, uh, reading updates. I did finish Blue Exorcist Volume 1 yesterday um, and I ended up giving it four stars. Um, I remember the same feeling the same way when I was watching the anime. Like I liked the first couple of episodes but I loved, like as anime like progressed, I liked like the later episodes more than like the first ones. So I felt the same way about this. Like while it was fun, I wasn't like super like, oh yeah, this is a five star manga. Like it's just, you know, it's not. <laughs> but like the later volumes I hope do end up becoming a five star vibe because that's how I felt when I was watching the anime. So I am excited to continue, but like I don't, I'm not going to go like super out of my way to like purchase these. I got this one because it was $5 <laughs> at the used bookstore, um, but I don't like really collect manga in that way. So I don't mind just like putting holds on out of my library and then just reading them whenever they come in. Uh, same with Spy Family. Um, I am going to watch the anime for Spy Family because um, I saw that it's on Hulu and um, so I think I'm just going to watch that and you know. Just have a good time with that while I wait for like my holds to come in for the rest of the volumes. Um, so I did that and then I also did read a couple of pages. Oh my god, I just dropped my highlighter. I did read a couple of pages of A Dower of Blood yesterday. I only read seven pages because I was sitting here and I was just like, I'm just gonna read like a couple pages to try to get a sense of like the story and the world. I didn't really feel like committing to like reading the whole book yesterday. Um, but like I read like seven pages and I was like, oh my god, like I need tabs and a highlighter like I can't just go into this like this because already I wanted to highlight like every single page so I'm just like wow the writing style is gorgeous I cannot wait to continue but yeah I only read seven pages yesterday but since we have reading sprints today I'm just going to finish this book up during sprints um so that's the plan for this one so I did start this but I haven't gotten that far and then aside from that I actually ended up working on a new sticker design I haven't <laughs> sat down to draw in like a really long time um so yesterday I don't know I just put on some music and then I just was drawing and so I came up with a really fun sticker idea one that I've had for a while but I just haven't like made the time to like sit down and draw it out um but I did design that um I'm still trying to decide if I want to leave it in black and white or if I want to add like a color I might just put it up on like my Instagram stories and see like what people would like more um, personally, I really kind of do like the whole black and white design, but I'm thinking that I kind of want to inverse it. I want to invert the colors so that it's like the black background with the white drawing instead of the other way around. So I might do that, but I don't know. I feel like it looks cool, like, because it's so simple. Um, but I think I would like it more if it was like inverted, like the colors. So I'm going to try and do that and see which one I like better but I did do that yesterday which was kind of crazy because I said like I said I haven't drawn in a really long time um so it was fun to just sit down and draw for a while and I really do like what I ended up designing so yeah you might see that coming soon to my Etsy shop so yeah those are kind of like my general updates for today um so I'm going to also go grocery shopping um there's a Trader Joe's that's like right across the street from a Target and at Target, I really want to get that one book that I've been hinting at, but I haven't said what it is. There's this one specific book that I want to read in this vlog because I have the audiobook and I heard that the audiobook is really good. So I'm thinking I'm going to go buy some groceries at Trader Joe's and then I'll go to Target and get that book. And then we can like read that after I finish A Diary of Blood. Generally, those are my plans. I also am going to go return Spy Family to the library today as well. So I'll update you guys later once reading sprints are on and hopefully once I have more of A Tower of Blood Red and I can give you guys some more thoughts on that. So um, those are my updates. I will see you guys later.
guys, so um, I'm currently on Reading Sprints on Gabby's channel, and I am now on page 119 of A Dowry of Blood. The storyline that we were following um, is essentially just like a storyline of like grooming um, and like manipulation and like toxic relationships. I feel like it's more of a story now, and I'm like actually really gripped by the story now because it just feels more like I'm reading a book. <laughs> I know it. this sounds really weird, but like in my brain it makes sense, but I'm liking it more now than I did in the beginning. Um, and I feel like the writing style, I don't know if I've just gotten used to it, but it seems a little bit more like it's calmed down. Um, so like I'm also feel like I can get more sucked in when the writing style is a little bit simpler. Um, so I don't know if I got used to it or if it, the writing style just has gotten simpler. Uh, but I am enjoying it a lot more now that we're kind of like in the middle of the book than when it was in the beginning. And I'm also really enjoying like learning about like the vampires of this world. I really like reading vampire books specifically for vampire lore. Like I really like seeing how each um, author like does things differently with their vampires and S.C. Gibson has like a very unique take on vampires like in certain aspects like obviously like the blood and all that is like pretty much the same but there are some like things that I've seen in here that seem more unique um, to her vampires and any of the vampires that I've read before um, so I'm really enjoying that as well I really do like being in Constanta like her POV like I really enjoy her storytelling and I am enjoying it more now that we're more into it but I do really like um, all the characters and I want to fucking beat the shit out of this man so bad like so fucking bad like I want to like just grab him and just like just shake him and kill him like I really hate this man so much and he's fucking disgusting like oh he's a groomer he's a fucking groomer he's an abuser he's a manipulator Oh, I hate him. I hate him so much. But I really like Constanta because, like, I really like her whole, like, thing about, like, how, like, the people that she kills. Like, her whole little thing about that. I don't want to be, like, too specific. But, like, her whole, like, how she hunts or, like, the people that she hunts. I'm just like, yeah, that would be me too. Like, if I was a vampire, that's exactly the type of people that I would look for. Like, everything she says, I'm like, yeah. I agree with you 100% and fuck this asshole guy trying to make you feel bad because he's a man and he's the worst kind of man so fuck that guy so like I was just entering my full-on I hate men rage right now with this book which I love um, but like I hate him so much um, but yeah I'm really enjoying the story now that we're further in I'm excited to see how it goes um, I think I still need another bride to be introduced um, and when they introduced Magdalena and like the way that like they introduced her into the relationship was just like, oh, I wanted to kill him so bad, like so freaking bad. But I'm obsessed with like Constanta and Magdalena's like relationship. I'm, oh, I love it so much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue reading this. But first, before these sprints end, I have a package. I'm so excited. I s talked about this in my last vlog so if you watched it you know exactly what's in here and I cannot wait because I probably will cry <laughs> it's another one of my most prized possessions now <laughs> oh isn't she gorgeous isn't she fucking gorgeous oh my god oh my god Why don't we have these editions? Oh, I will never. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh my god. This book is fucking gorgeous. Like, oh my god. Wow. I'm obsessed. And it's in such good condition too, like wow. They're so pretty. How does it look like A Court in Mist and Fury is longer than Akawar? Because Akawar in the other editions is way longer. Doesn't it look like this is longer than this, but it's not? Am I tripping? Why? Why is this tripping me out so bad right now? 
I don't understand. I don't understand the physics of this because they're like, they're the same size, but why does it look like this one's longer? I don't know, someone explain the mystery to me, but yeah, anyways. I just need a quart of thorns and roses, and then I need to get the little novella, a quart of frost and starlight, I think. Um, and then I'll have the complete set, so yeah. Great mail day for me. Um, I'm gonna hop back onto sprints because uh, we're about to do the chat and then I will update you guys once I'm done because I feel like I can finish this hopefully in the next sprint. So I'll update you guys later. guys so today it's saturday and i've been so bad at updating this vlog but i have been reading and i just haven't been updating while i've been doing it so um last time i checked in i think i was during reading sprints and i was about to finish a diary of blood so i ended up finishing reading sprints and then i stayed up a little bit after to finish up a diary of blood because i only had like 20 pages left so i did end up finishing up a diary of blood so these are like my tabs um i kind of ended up tabbing um kind of like quotes that i liked i also tabbed like red flags like kind of like um like situations and passages that i think were very like re like summed up perfectly like being in a manipulative grooming style-esque relationship and then i also tapped um some like vampire lore um that's specific to sc gibson's vampires because like i had mentioned before i really like learning about different authors lore uh, for their vampires so I, th I thought that was really fun. Like I mentioned before, I'm not a huge fan of like really flowery writing. Um, I get distracted by it. So this writing obviously is very beautiful. I think we can all agree on that. Like anyone that reads this book, that's the one thing everyone mentions is just the writing style being very beautiful. And I completely agree, but that's not something that I really like look for in my books. Like I'm not really there for like really beautiful writing and I get distracted by it. So like I mentioned before, I don't know if I like got used to the writing style and so it wasn't so jarring to me as I got further in or if the writing style calmed down further in. I don't know. I don't know how I would be able to tell the difference, but those are two options that could have possibly happened. And I did end up enjoying the second half of the book more. I felt like it felt more like a book towards the second half and that I was actually following more of a story instead of the beginning, which felt more like... Uh, I don't know like I know the formatting is like she's kind of writing like this letter and like kind of like summing up everything that happened between their relationship it the second half feels more to me like a story versus the first half I don't know why it just does for me um but I ended up giving this four stars because I really enjoyed it and um there are things that I wish had happened differently like I wish we had gotten more of like Alexei's relationship um i feel like i wish i had learned more a little bit more of alexa and had seen kind of like their progression of their relationship kind of like how we got magdalena and constanta like their relationship was very explored and i really liked that i think i would have liked to see that same exploration when it came to um alexa and constanta um and then just the writing style kind of threw me off because like it took me out in like the first half of the book i really like the message that the book is sharing with the reader um, and I really like seeing like Constanta kind of like come out of this abusive relationship that she was in. So there's this one line that I really enjoyed and I feel like we can apply it to a lot of things in our existence. Um, and it's, it's easy to hate myself for my ignorance now when I have the hindsight of centuries behind me. I feel like it's a perfect example of why you need to be kind to yourself. Um, as you get older and you look back at your younger self and you look back at like things that you used to do or things that you put up with or things that you engaged with and now as you're older you're like why did I do that that was so stupid like why would I do something like that and it's like obviously it's easier now when you're looking back to like be mean and be like what was wrong with you why did you do something like that versus like when you were in it and like you didn't have that hindsight because you're fucking going through it and like I feel like it really this sentence really reminded me that it's like super important to be kind to yourself for the past because it's just like you shouldn't be mean to yourself for things that 
you put up with without like before you actually knew like the difference between like something good and something bad kind of thing you know like um especially when you are in like an abusive relationship or have been in an abusive relationship and you're looking back on it and you're just like why did i put up with so many horrible things and it's like yeah you can say that now but like in the in the middle of it in the thick of it like you can't have that retrospection because there's nothing to compare it to you know what i mean so i really liked that line i thought it was really powerful just like simple like boom like it hit and i was like wow like that's that's amazing so yeah there were like some lines like that where i was just like wow like you're right <laughs> you're right um and yeah i just thought it was fantastic i really enjoyed it um and yeah i'm glad that i finally read it i've finally done it i've read a diary of blood I did it <laughs> so yeah i finished this up i think on tuesday and then i read i read two um like alien romances on kindle unlimited so <laughs> let me preface this by saying that one of my friends on instagram sent me a freaking screenshot of this like goodreads like someone on her goodreads was reading this book and she was like i don't know why like this just reminded me of you and it's just like a shirtless guy like it's just like a torso shirtless guy with like tattoos and like weird like little markings and shit and she's like i don't know it just reminded me of you and I'm, i was just like laughing so hard because i was like my brand my brand like apparently hunky men on book covers like hell yeah like i'm glad that that's what i'm known for so she sent me that and i was like oh my god now i have to read it so i had some free time and i saw that they were on kindle unlimited and i was waiting to pick up like another physical book so i was like you know what i'm gonna read some like digital books because it had been a while since i read like an ebook so i picked up the first one the first book is choosing theo and it basically follows this woman who basically gets abducted and she gets dropped off on this like alien planet and then on this alien planet women essentially get to like choose their husbands and the husbands all have to kind of go to like school to learn how to be like a good husband so they learn how to cook they learn how to like shop for clothes they learn how to like pleasure the female body like they have like anatomy lessons um so they're just like trained essentially to be really good husbands and the premise i'm like okay like we need to implement that here you know like i think we all should take a lesson from this because i think the world would be a better place if a man knew where the clit was you know what i mean <laughs> so that's the premise of the story so i read that and i was like oh i'm signed me the fuck up i was like i'm reading that asap so i started it so this woman you know she gets dropped off on this alien planet blah blah, blah. so the only thing okay because i gave this book four stars because i thought it was so fun i binge read it so fast like they're like 350 page books but i read it so incredibly fast like i just flew through it i was having the time of my life i thought it was so freaking fun um but the only thing is like for me personally when i read alien romance like i want a fucking alien like i want something that does not resemble anything we've seen <laughs> on earth i like very like weird looking aliens um and these guys basically look like humans like the whole there's a couple of people that are mentioned that like don't look like humans but like the ones we're following in this book he's just a really like sexy guy and i was like okay that's fun but like i wish he kind of looked a little bit more alien because i personally like a little bit more of an alien twist so i think these books would be good for people who want to get into alien romance but don't necessarily like you know non-humanoid things so like if you want like something that looks human <laughs> but isn't technically human um i feel like this would be kind of a good series to start with because like you're on an alien planet there's different rules there's different customs you know but it's not like super weird where it's like they got horns or a tail or like weird feet you know what i mean so like i feel like this series would be good for like getting your <laughs> you know like getting your feet wet into the alien romance like genre so it's really fun <clears throat> so i read that loved it um i mean i don't really have much to say she picks a she picks a husband things unfold um and there's like a um there's like faded mate tropes there's like forced proximity trope um so like kind of insta love sort of because of the faded mates thing but there's also a lot of like angst and like like not like i can't like you kind of like you know that back and forth um we've got like grumpy man with like sunshine girly she's just trying to have a fun time and i was like jade i love you like you're so real for this 
Um, and so like the dy dynamic and everything about the book is just really fun for me. Like it hits everything that I like to read. Um, so I had a really fun time. And then throughout the book, there is like a separate kind of storyline that's going on because they're trying to figure out like, who brought this girl here? For what purpose? Like, so there's another storyline going on in between that. And then there's also like a society storyline going on between them because this society they are having a problem with their reproduction they're having a problem with like having kids um the female to male ratio is like super off so that's also why women have so much choice in you know the matter of their husbands and stuff like that so that's also woven into it and so at the end of that we don't really have like a conclusion to any of the bigger questions so I was like, I'm going to start the next one because like I'm really in the mood to just have a fun time reading. Like I don't want to read anything that requires a lot of brain power. Like I just want to have fun. So then I started the second one, which is Freeing Luca. And Luca is actually related to Theo. He's his brother. So we start off with that one. And that one I won't say much because like I don't want to spoil it. But it's more of like Captor Captive vibes. Um it's really fun like so freaking cute like that one was cute like the first one was like a little bit more toxic which you know <laughs> i like and then the second one is just like sweet cute oh my god adorable um and that one we're still continuing on with the questions of like who brought these women here for what purpose we kind of get an answer ish in the end of the first one but it's like continue to be explored in the second one so i'm assuming that throughout the series we're still kind of like trying to figure out this whole situation i don't want to say too much because i don't want to spoil but there are like there is a storyline that connects the books um but like each book follows like a different couple but like there is still plot like there is a substantial amount of plot i feel um, in the books themselves as well as just like fun little alien you know fun <laughs> so yeah um I read both of those I thought they were so fun like I gave both of them four stars um I just had a good time with them like I was just having the time of my life and I will be continuing the series the next book I think is like Saving Baracko I think and I think he looks a little bit more alien than the first two guys so I'm just like okay maybe this is the one that I give five stars to I just feel like those books are good for me when like I don't want to read physically and I just want to have fun like they're just like you know like I just feel like they serve that purpose for me just to have a silly goofy time so um yeah if you want to get into alien romance but you want like more humanoid looking men so those are like my general reading updates um and I did end up getting an email from my library that my volumes for Spy Family and Blue Exorcist were available for pickup so I went to go pick those up yesterday um, so I got volumes two and three of Spy Family, and then I got volumes two and three of Blue Exorcist. So I am going to read these soon. I'm not sure if in this vlog or another one, but um, I do have them, and these are really fast for me to read. So yeah, I have these. And then I did end up going to pick up that book that I told you guys in the beginning of the vlog that I wanted to read that I had the audiobook for. Joke's on me, because <laughs> I went to, I, I got the book, and then I went to Libby, and I like push play and then like the narrator starts speaking Spanish and I'm like what like why is this in Spanish so then I went back to look at my like audiobook thing and it's actually in Spanish so <laughs> I think I read like the title and I was just like yeah like like I read the title and I was like I translated it immediately in my brain so I didn't even realize that I was reading it in Spanish like I just read it and just was like yeah English like I don't know like I think my brain just like kind of went really fast with it and I was just like yeah this is the English one and I just like downloaded it and then when I went into it I was like oh shit <laughs> that's it's in Spanish I just realized that um so yeah unfortunately I don't actually have the audiobook and then I went to Libby to look for it and literally they only have my library only has a Spanish version of the audiobook which I think is hilarious. So I was like, oh, <laughs> all right, then I guess I'm just going to physically read it. So I'm going to be reading Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Um, I have tried to read The Martian by Andy Weir, and I hated the book. Like, I could not get through it. I think I got like, I don't even know, like 50 pages in, and I was like, no, I can't do this. Like, I truly cannot. I haven't had a good experience with Andy Weir. Um, but I have seen a lot of my friends really like this. I know that Lexi really likes this book. I know Kaylee really likes this book. So yeah, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try it out. So I did start it. I'm on page 46. Um, basically follows this guy who wakes up on a spaceship and he doesn't remember who he is, why he's on there, what's going on. 
Um, and it's just kind of like we're kind of just recovering memories along with him, like finding out what happened, why he's on a spaceship, who he is, that kind of thing. And so far, the only thing that has really bothered me is the fact that this book, like he says crud, heck, like I didn't know I hated this until I'm reading it because I'm just like, I think I would prefer you just not cuss rather than use like those types of words where it's like, just say hell or crap, like please, or don't say anything at all. Like just take out the swear words and don't replace them with like the acceptable swear word combo. Like I cannot stand that. And I didn't even know I hated that because I don't think I've ever read a book where it's so like, like they put it so often. Like I'm just like, oh my God, like if this man doesn't say fuck at least once in this book, I'm gonna lose my shit. Um, <laughs> Cause I hate, like I hate, just hearing crud and heck like I I can't stand it I truly cannot stand it it's bothering me but not enough for me to be like I don't want to read this book it's just something that I notice and like it just like pisses me off <laughs> and I'm just like oh my god like I hate that but overall like I am intrigued by the book um I don't read a lot of sci-fi so I'm not sure if like I am like a sci-fi girly we're gonna find out um I have read like a couple of like sci-fi-ish books but like I wouldn't consider myself like a sci-fi reader um but there are a lot of sci-fi books that I would actually like to read eventually so I feel like this will be a good step for me it has a lot of really good reviews like seriously if I if I go on Goodreads and I look at like all my friends who have rated it it's like four or five stars like everyone I know really really likes this book so I feel like there's a good chance that I'll like it too I just really hate the whole heck and crud Thing because it really bothers me so I'm gonna be reading this I'm gonna go get a coffee um, today and then I have work like later on in the afternoon so I'm gonna go like out and drink a coffee with my friend and I'll try and read a little bit of this I'm also gonna take spy family volume 2 with me because this also I, I really want to get into back into because I'm currently watching the anime but I don't want to watch too far into the anime before I read the manga like I kind of want to read the manga first and then watch the anime so those are my plans. So I have to read volume two so that I can continue my um, watch of the anime. Um, and yeah, so those are my plans for today. I'm going to go get coffee and then I have work. And then after work, probably come home and like, I don't know, read or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sorry that this update is so long. It's just I put off updating you guys earlier. So now these are the consequences of my actions. So sorry about that. But yeah, hopefully I talked about everything that I wanted to talk about in the past few days. I will update you guys a little bit later. I'm going to go get coffee and hopefully like a pastry because I'm in the mood <laughs> for like a muffin or something. I don't know. Hey guys, so it is the same day. I just switched to my top because it was really hot. Um, but I have a very exciting unboxing. I haven't done any reading, but this is just an unboxing update. But I got my Renegade Romance box and... I'm so excited. So this is a monster romance, alien romance themed reading box. Is that what they're called? Book box? Book box. Um, and I've been so freaking excited ever since I signed up for it um, to receive it. So I cannot wait to open it. So we're going to unbox it together. Um, Cause I haven't seen any like, people are really good with like spoilers for this box. like. The company, um, like, really discourages people from, like, sharing spoilers um, because they like people to be surprised, which I think is really cool. So, yeah, if you haven't gotten your Renegade box um, and you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch a couple of minutes from this video. So, yeah, I'm going to open it now. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so we can't see anything yet. I'm going to grab my trash can because... I already know that this is going to make a mess. Oh my god, it looks so cool. So this is my first one. I'm going to throw away all this stuff. I think I know which book it is, just because of who the author is. Um, oh my god, there's bad art. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so there's a pin. Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is so funny. Okay, so this is Catherine Moon's Good Deeds um, exclusive enamel pin, and it says Cozy Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> oh my god, I'm obsessed. So this is probably some type of, like, cyborg-y romance, I'm assuming? Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. 
Oh my god, this is so fucking cute. So these are a bunch of like stickers, there's a bookmark, and there's a print for, um, I guess I think it belongs to this book, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is like an orc romance or some alien robot romance. Oh, there's two books in here. Oh, okay, this makes sense. Okay, okay. This, yes, okay, now I get it. So the first book, let me take it out. Oh, this is so cute. I'm dying. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is the one I, I assumed was in here. Okay, so we've got Good Deeds by Catherine Moon, which I think is the, like, mechanic robot one. And then we've got Games with the Orc by Catherine Moon, which is the orc romance. And I think these are, like, exclusive covers with Renegade Romance. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. I haven't read, like, a robot-y, like, type of romance. Um, and I have read a couple of orc ones, so I'm excited for this. Um, okay, now it makes sense. So I'm going to open up the fan art and stuff. My camera died while I was in the middle of going to show you guys the art. <laughs> so it's a lot later. I've been charging my camera. Um, so yeah, the lighting's different and the angle, that's why. But let me show you guys better um, what I ended up getting so I'm gonna read you guys the synopsis on the back so you guys can understand kind of like what generally what these books are about um I don't know how to pronounce this name but we're gonna try Nochka Umian uh, I don't know solar scavenger and pilot only came to bandolier for business but when her first heat cycle hits she has two choices get off the planet or find somewhere safe to ride out the heat burns Determined to never end up mated and trapped in a kitchen, she heads into Droid District. You can't mate if the other person isn't organic, right? Long fuds and preparing for weeks of sexual stupor, Nashka finds herself in the nuts and nuts and bolts in a nearly deserted cozy house with a handful of older models, two of which aren't even servicing, but the owner, proto model Avon 8, is willing to trade sex for repairs, and Nashka is desperate. Everything will stay simple with droids, or it would or it would if she didn't end up liking them all so much. If she can just make it through her heat without too many feelings, avoid the pack of Dendre's males that seem to be seem determined to, to catch her and figure out why women are going missing, it will all work out. It's kind of like a droid romance, um, and so she basically is going through her heat, which I guess is something that happens to her, um, and this is the first one, and I guess like if she kind of like sees a man or something, she might end up be, like finding a mate, and because she doesn't want to do that, she goes to this droid planet, to basically have sex with droids um, and hope that because they aren't organic she won't form a mate relationship um, and I'm not really sure if this is like multiple men type of thing because the sticker that this comes with has like a bunch of like names so I'm like I'm wondering if this is kind of like a reverse harem type of situation um, I don't know but I would be exciting if it was so yeah, that's kind of like the basic premise. It sounds like a great time. <laughs> so I cannot wait to read this. I've never read like a droid, like, um, like robot romance. I feel like this is going to be really fun. And then games with the orc. Um, Sunny has spent years of her life hiding from her own desires and hiding them from those she loves. Forced to face the idea of denying that part of herself forever, Sunny takes a nosedive out of her routine and into her fantasies. All she needs is the help of the Monster Smash Agency and one exceptionally talented orc. Kalar has mastered his work with Monster Smash Agency, satisfying his clients with perfect expertise. Guiding and guiding inexperienced Sunny into a new realm of extreme pleasure should be easy, simple. All he has to do is follow her request, play his part, and not form a mating bond. But Sunny is orc bait, and Kalar is more than even her wildest dreams could concoct. So, it sounds like a great time. These two sound like the time of my life. And then there are some art prints that come with it. So this one is for Good Deeds, and I'm assuming this is Nachka. And she looks fucking badass. Like, oh my god, she looks fucking sick. <laughs> so I can't wait to read this because she looks amazing. And then um, we also have this print which is Sunny and Kalar um and they look so cute together this print is so wholesome like I am obsessed um it comes with this bookmark of also Sunny and Kalar and then on the back it says you surrendered to my control now surrender to my care too cute and then we've got the sticker so I showed you guys this one and then this one is so cute 
So yeah, this is Sunny and Kalar, and they look so adorable together. Um, oh my god, yeah. So this is done by the artist that does um, the Ice Planet art that I have. Um, and then yeah, you guys saw this pin. So that's pretty much everything that came in the box. I'm so excited. I really want to hang these prints. Um, and I can't wait to get to these books. Like they just sound so fun, especially this one. I'm really excited. Um, so aside from that, again, no reading has been done, but I'm kind of in a dangerous mood because I'm really in the mood to completely reorganize the library room. Um, so I'm basically out of space in my bookshelves here and I have this other wall like behind where you guys are at where I could fit two more book cases um, and so what I was thinking of doing is basically moving my desk into the like closet that I have in this room that I don't use for anything really so I was thinking of putting my desk in there so that it would free up this space and then I could put my like reading couch here in this corner and then that would and then that way I would have room to put two new bookshelves here um, and so that way like I feel like it would be more useful for the space because um, I feel like this kind of like layout kind of blocks out a lot of space and I feel like putting my desk in there would just be easier and also like if I do live streams and stuff like the bookshelves would be kind of like the background so I was thinking of even doing that like moving this into the closet or I was thinking of putting the desk like in the middle of the room but I don't know how that would work out either so I'm kind of like in the mood to just like rearrange my entire <laughs> um, library room and since I have tomorrow off I can stay up late doing this and it won't like be a problem um but if i do that i know for sure i'm not gonna get reading any reading done but like i am in such a mood to move things around and this usually i get like these moods like randomly where i'll just want to like redo something so <laughs> in this case i really want to redo the library room so i think that's what i'm gonna do for the rest of the night i won't be doing any reading um and i will just focus on reorganizing this room and seeing how it goes um if it doesn't end up working out then i'll just like put everything back but um i do really need a new bookshelf because i am out of space um in my white bookshelves here i was also thinking of moving this one to here or getting like another skinny one because it would fit like perfectly here so i don't know there's some things we can do um but moving this is going to be it's a lot of work so I think what I'm going to do first is reorganize the desk situation and then I can base how I will organize the rest of the room based on where I end up putting the desk so that's probably what I'm going to do <laughs> for the rest of the night so I will like give you guys a I'll pan around so you guys can see the setup now my room is kind of messy so don't judge me on that and then I will show you guys after I do everything and we'll see maybe nothing will change it and I'll just I'll be back to where it is but um, I'm going to try and move things around and see how it looks. So, yeah. <laughs> I will update you guys later once we do this and show you guys what I end up doing. So it is Sunday morning and yesterday um, I basically rearranged the entire library room. I'm obsessed with the way it looks now. I feel like it has so much more space. Um, I mean, I did end up taking out like a table and like my big reading chair and I put that in the living room. Um, 
and I'm just like, if I don't, if I get a reading chair, it would have to be a smaller one that I can put in the corner because I tried to put that one in the corner and it was just way too big. So she's in the living room now, which makes Olive really happy because she loves that chair. <laughs> so I have basically a spot for like a reading chair if I ever want to put one. And then I also have now the space to put like two new bookshelves in the future. Um, so yeah, like I think I'm just going to get one bookshelf now because I don't have like a lot of books that need to be shelved just like two stacks which I think could fit in like one bookshelf so I'll probably just get one bookshelf now um but I do have like the space in the future when I'll need like a second shelf because inevitably I will need a second shelf so that's what I ended up doing here I feel like it looks so much better so now we get like full view of the bookshelf so here I have like this used to be my YA one, but then I was like, why do I have a YA bookshelf if I don't even read YA? So I ended up moving all the YA to a different spot. So now this is kind of like a kind of like fantasy romance sort of shelf. So like um, on top, we have my Twilight books because, you know, I love them. And then I have um, Akatar here. Then I have uh, Throne of Glass here, which I haven't started reading, but I am. And then I also put Crescent City here or House of Earth and Blood. Then we have some like, I have like my Pestilence set and then I have like A Touch of Darkness, like the special editions. And then I have an, I have like new adults sort of after that and then some middle grade. And then I basically moved all the YA. I stacked both of them on the bottom shelf of this, of these two bookshelves because the bottom shelf is like really tall. So I just put all my YA in there that I read in high school and early college and I want to do rereads for but like also I don't want to do rereads for because I don't like reading YA so I was just like why do I have a whole shelf dedicated to a genre that I don't like anymore so yeah so I moved all the books out from there and rearranged everything um so yeah I feel like it looks really good now and I'm really happy oh and another thing I did want to mention because um, the announcement video got posted yesterday, so I will be co-hosting a readathon with a bunch of other people created by Lexi. It is a competitive team-based readathon that's going to be running all of May. I will leave the announcement video linked down below on Lexi's channel. She goes over kind of like the general idea of it. Um, so there are different teams. I am the co-host for the team film crew, so if you want to be on my team, um, go sign up. Um, in the Google Docs that is linked in Lexi's announcement video and put that you want to be on the film crew and then you get access to the discord where we have our own like chat for the people that are on the film crew team um, so yeah make sure you check that out if you are interested in that readathon it's starting in May um, and I'm so excited it's gonna be my first readathon that I'm like co-hosting so I'm nervous but I'm like super excited because I feel like it's gonna be super fun so yeah those are my general updates I will see you guys later and I will check back once I have a reading update because I'm tired of telling you guys that I haven't read shit. So, 2nd of April, we gotta get going. So, I'll see you guys later. So it is Monday and I have a reading update for you guys. I'm not as far into the book as I wanted to be by this time, but it's fine. Um, I ended up getting to page 102 yesterday. I just didn't really feel like reading. Um, 
I don't know, I was just really tired, so I didn't get too far into it, but I am 102 pages in. Um, I feel like I'm watching a movie, which I really enjoy. Like, it's very um, scientific, but it also has, like, a lot of humor. Um, some of it, I feel like most of the humor is very, like, nerdy humor. Um, and it's fun, but, like, it's definitely not, like, something that makes me, like, laugh out loud. Um, but so far, I do feel like I'm interested in the story and I'm interested to see how everything happened. And I'm really excited to get to the character Rocky because like if you go on any <laughs> review for this book, everyone always mentions Rocky, like they love Rocky. And I'm just like trying to figure out like who the Rocky character is going to be because um, he's like alone on the ship, right? So I'm assuming it's going to be like the computer or maybe like an AI system. I don't know, something. But I'm excited to get to Rocky. Um, <laughs> whenever that happens um but yeah i am enjoying it um the science is like not overwhelming um i feel like they do i feel like andy weir does a really good job with like throwing like these very like heavy like physics math kind of things into the book but at the same time he doesn't leave you hanging there like trying to figure out what what he's talking about like at the same time that the character like talks about something he also like explains like what it is and it never feels like like that that type of explanation like stops the story or or like you know it's like a kind of like meta moment where like the character's talking to you it's very seamless it doesn't feel weird like it's just flows so nicely so i really do like how he's putting the science into the sci-fi elements of this book um so i'm definitely enjoying this way more than um the martian because the martian i dnf'd at like 50 pages so the fact that i'm 100 pages into this one you know we're off to a good start so I am excited to continue, excited to see what's going to happen. We just got like kind of like a reveal of like his mission. Um, and it's really sad because I'm like, oh damn, like that's really sad. Um, so we just had like one big reveal. I'm sure there's going to be many more because we're kind of like learning along with him. Today I'm going to sit down and read some more of this. And then tomorrow I have reading sprints at six. So if I don't finish today, which I definitely won't, but like I can hopefully finish tomorrow during sprints i will probably be reading this um and so hopefully this vlog doesn't go on for too long so that's like the general plan for today and tomorrow um i will update you guys and see how we do so that's it i'll see you guys later hey guys so it is tuesday currently on reading sprints I am reading Project Hail Mary and I am 192 pages in. I finally met the infamous Rocky um, and definitely not what I was expecting. Honestly, this whole book is definitely not what I was expecting at all. I'm not going to say what I was because I don't want to like inadvertently spoil, but like this took the, a turn that I never like never saw coming so i'm really surprised because i'm actually really enjoying it because it's just it's just very surprising like i just didn't think that that this was what this book was going to be about i guess i didn't even read the back so kind of it kind of like hints at it at the back um but i didn't ever read the back i just kind of went into it fully blind um which i like doing for books so yeah not what i was expecting but i am enjoying it so i'm going to continue reading um basically on our first sprint and i'm almost at 200 pages so hopefully during these sprints um we can get a lot more read um we started an hour later than usual so i might have to not do as many sprints just because it'll be later for me than usual so i'll see how gabby's feeling and we'll kind of like gauge it like that um but <clears throat> oh my god my voice <laughs> but yeah that is my little update hey guys so it is wednesday i'm dying okay if my voice sounds like weird I, my body is trying to kill me, okay? Um, allergies. Allergies. Um, I am hopped up on allergy medication right now. And I have been putting on Vaporub any second that I can so that I can breathe <laughs> because I'm dying. <laughs> so, yeah, if I sound or look, you know, dead, that's why. Um, I'm dying. Um anyways so i do have updates um so i am i don't have my book with me because i left my book in my mom's car and my sister has my mom's car so i'm waiting for her to come back so that i can grab my book 
Um, so I don't have the physical book with me, but I am currently reading Project Hail Mary and now I'm 282 pages in. So I think I'm like at 60% I think with the book. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot more now. I, once I hit the introduction of Rocky, like from then on, I have been liking the book so much more. Um, and it just feels like so fun. And this book I think would make an excellent like movie, like a sci-fi movie. I really think it would look so cool if it was adapted. Um, and I'm just having a really fun time with it. I really want to finish it tonight though. Like really, really just want to finish it tonight because this vlog is so freaking long and I don't want to make it longer. So I do really want to finish it tonight. So I think that's going to be my main focus tonight is just going to take a shower and take some more allergy medication and then try and finish up Project Hail Mary because I'm really close to being done. Um, well, like not that close, but yeah like i feel like if i just focused i could really finish tonight so i just i really want to do that because i've been reading the book for a little bit too long you know um but i am enjoying it i don't think it's gonna be like a five star read like right now at the moment like it feels like a 3.5 four star read like it's enjoyable but i'm not like super like oh my god obsessed you know five star vibes um but who knows like as we progress into the story that might change but right now i'm kind of like 3.5 4 star range with the book so we'll see what i feel like once i finish it so today is thursday excuse my voice i'm still fighting my allergies so my voice sounds different that's why um anyways i ended up finishing project hail mary last night um i ended up staying up till like about 11 30 to finish it up and i actually cried at the end um it was just such a good ending for the book i really really liked the ending um and it made me very emotional like i wasn't like sad um, I was just more like emotional for the book like at different parts of the book. I started crying um, And yeah, this book made me really emotional. I ended up giving this book four stars I feel like the beginning could have definitely been shortened um, Like you guys can tell like the beginning of the book I have like no tabs whatsoever until I get to the second half is when I started actually tabbing um, But I feel like the first half of the book dragged a little bit I feel like it definitely could have been shortened like 20 30 pages and I think it would have been a better uh, pacing for the book. I love the way Andy Weir like explains the science and math that is introduced into the book. It is like science heavy because obviously like you have like this whole sci-fi premise but it's never like overwhelming. I feel like I can manage most of the concepts like I never felt overwhelmed by all the science talk like it didn't feel super heavy for me. I really enjoyed it um, and I feel like the introduction of Rocky's character really like brings it brings this book up so much because if it had just been like him alone like for like how the first half of the book is like that would have just been so boring like i would have just been bored out of my mind so it, rocky's character really to me like saved this book because like his relationship with ryland is just so fucking cute like i loved their relationship how it forms how it evolves like i was just emotional for both of them like their relationship made me emotional because i loved it so much i thought they made such a good team and like it was just so cute um and yeah like i feel like rocky's character really just like like he is the one you know what i mean with the big reveal like towards like the end of the book not like the not the like final ending of the book but like kind of like his last memory that he has to recover my jaw was on the floor like i was like no fucking way like i was literally so shocked when i read that memory like i was like oh wow like i loved that whole like like that whole memory like that whole thing really like i was like wow that is fucking crazy like i reacted so strongly to that so i took off a star just because like um the whole like crud and heck and gosh darn crap that 
this book does is so fucking annoying and like it goes away towards the second half of the book so i was like why couldn't it just not exist you know what i mean so i feel like that already was like half a star for me and then like um i feel like the dragging of the first half of the book like i feel like if they had taken out like 30 pages i feel like it would have been way better paced so that's like also a half star i mean i'm not like surprised that i enjoyed this because like i said it's like super like hyped like a lot of people really like it so i was not surprised that i also really enjoyed it i recommend it if you want to get into sci-fi i feel like this is kind of a, this is also like a good way to start because andy weir um he writes like a lot of sci-fi and i feel like he does a good job explaining the science the only reason the reason i didn't like the martian has nothing to do with the science i just didn't like the formatting or the character so it had nothing to do with like it being like sci-fi i just didn't like the formatting or the character but this one like same the science is not like overwhelming or anything it is explained as you go through it um but i feel like these characters are so much more likable um and because you get like rocky he's the one you know what i mean like he's the one so yeah i really enjoyed it i'm glad i read it so yeah this was the book i was waiting to finish to finish up this vlog so we did it we're done <laughs> Yeah, so that's my first book I read in April. Um, next up, I think I'm going to read A Court of Frost and Starlight because I'm going to be getting A Court of Silver Flames pretty soon because my friend has finished annotating it um, and is going to mail it to me soon. So we can start that book soon and I'm so fucking excited. So yeah, that's everything for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read Project Hail Mary and what your thoughts were. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to keep up with more content from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.